Hello there, my name is Eduardo Guerra. I'm here on the Tracedus channel. And yes, uh, if you are uh, watch videos from our channel, uh, you know that our videos are in Portuguese. And this is the first video in English that from our channel. And if you are just coming here for the first time, be very welcome. Today we are going to talk about this game, which is Cangaceiros, which is a, a game uh, re, uh, released by Aris Games that talks about a specific period in the Brazilian history that happens between um, 1870s and 1940s. Uh, it was an outlaw movement in the northwest of Brazil um, in a region called Sertão. Right, so today we are going to take a look on this, uh, a little bit on how the rules work, and in the end, I will give my opinion about the game. So, if you are interested, keep watching. Okay, the first thing I have to say about Cangaceiros is that uh, the first time I looked at the game, I uh, was kind of intrigued, like, okay, this game, it's about going around the map and kind of more like an adventure game, or this game is about more like gathering resources, management, and uh, in the end, it's a little bit of both. I think, like, uh, the, it makes well, these, these ideas in a very cool game. So let's take a look on how, uh, on the components, the map, the, the player board, and how it works. This is the map of the game. Um, let's take a look on uh, its regions. We have here cities. Here, another city, as you can see, it's kind of a prison, right? Uh, as you can see, we also have some special places like three Caatinga regions and two Serra regions, right? And the other ones are like farms where the villains, and this is like a token that uh, kind of change from game to game, right? In the top part here, uh, the, 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 in, the, in the middle, we have uh, the city of Juazeiro, where our, uh, we are kind of safe. Um, here, in the top part of the board, we have the events that happen during the game. Uh, in this part, we have like a point track that kind of also show, uh, depending on where you are, what is the bounty on you. And uh, here, in this part, we have uh, here some goals for the game. Here are some special cards we can get on the Caatinga region. Here are some special cards we can get on the Serra region. And uh, here we have um, the, the, the Cangaceiros cards. And uh, here... Uh, about uh, uh, the soldiers and these cards kind of get stronger. We also have these tokens and I will explain them when I talk about the combat. This is the player board. In the beginning of the game, you are going to get two uh, Kangaseiro cards and you are going to choose one of them uh, to put here in your, um, in your board. Uh, then you are going to pick up this and uh, put on the respective place on your um, on your Cangaceiro card. And these are kind of upgrades you can unblock. Each character kind of have different places for this that uh, you can uh, unlock different things. Um, an interesting thing is that uh, all the Cangaceiros, uh, all of them has a special ability um, described here in the manual. And an interesting fact is that uh, all of them, with the exception of one, um, are uh, were real persons. Right? One of them is a, it's uh, an actor, 
I think it's uh, it's this one. But all the others actually existed and they have their history in the manual. Also their uh, ability explained. So you put this here and then each player get uh, the cards of his color. In this case, I pick up blue, then I have the cards that have the blue mark here, just for you to see. For example, these are the yellow ones, so you can differentiate them easily. Uh, each card has two actions you can do. The first one below and the first one on the top, which is always the same, which is to attack, right? So uh, this uh, allows you to do a movement to, to uh, um, an adjacent place. Um, this one allows you to so if then the movement, for example, I would, um, for example, come here, right? Uh, this one, I can uh, put uh, a garrison there. So I just put it and uh, this one, uh, I can get the resources from where I am. And for example, in case I'm here, Right, I can get the resources for where my gang is. Actually, that kind of represent not only my Kangasero, but my, my gang, right? Uh, and uh, I can get from here and also from one other place that I have the majority of garrisons. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, this uh, action, uh, I can uh, unblock one of the upgrades, okay? Um, what else? Yeah, and this action here, I can put my garrison on one of the events and get um, the, the benefit that is there below. And by putting my garrison there, I, I get immunity to the effects of that specific event, which can be very useful because Many of the events are really nasty. Right, so that's, uh, you also start with one coin, right? Which is the ha one heist, which is kind of a, a, a old currency from Brazil. That is the money in the game. The game is played in rounds. And the first thing you do in a round is to spawn new cops, uh, the volantes in the board. So uh, the, the first one, like the first round is kind of already printed in the board, but then as the game progresses, it will going to review the card here and you are going to spawn the ones that are uh, here on the top, right? That, that card also gives you the stats for, uh, um, for, for the volantes, and I will explain it better when I explain the combat. The second thing you are going to do is from your cards, from your available cards, you are going to choose three to use uh, in this round. So you will start with seven cards. You can uh, get more cards, but then you need to exchange. So we'll always have seven cards. So you pick up the three cards you want to use in this round and you are going to select. All players are going to do this simultaneously. Uh, the first, uh, the, the next part of the round is each player starting with the, the first player who has a faco, right? I really love this thing. <laughs> uh, they are going to uh, go uh, in turns, right? So each one is going to show a card and is going to execute or the actions here or the combat action that's always the same. An interesting thing is that uh, all Kangaseiro's card has this, right? Some, some has some special thing too, but you can always discard a card to do just one of these three actions, like uh, uh, the ones to, to, to rob, to, to put the garrison or to uh, move, right? So you can always do this but then you need to, uh, if you want to do like the more strong actions, you need to do the ones in your cards. After that, uh, we are going, after all players playing, the, there are three cards that they selected, right? So one player play one, the other play one. So they do uh, go three times like this. 
when it finishes, we uh, will resolve the event, right? So in the first round, nothing happens, but then some very bad thing can happen. And unless you did action to get this resource and uh, block uh, this for you, then you need to face the consequences. And I will say they are no good at all. Uh, after that, you activate uh, the volants that are in the board, for example, like this one. They are going to try to go to, uh, um, for example, in, in case you there are someone next to him, he's going to move, right, to uh, um, try to get him. And then, or you can face the consequences uh, or getting your uh, uh, volant, um, your uh, garrisons arrested, they go to the prison, or you can get damage from him. Alternatively, you can give him some money to leave you alone. So for each one that is going to attack you, you can avoid uh, this way, right? So uh, in this part, they are going to move and attack, right? So in the end of the round, you, uh, uh, you, you reset things, right? And the first player goes to the next one. Okay, so before going to the combat, I want to explain some additional things on the board. Uh, first thing about the resources. Um, as you saw, we have uh, some things we can get on the map, right? When we execute uh, this action. Um, and uh, I will explain each one. So we have the money, which I already explained. Uh, and I think it's pretty straightforward. And we have these three, uh, like the gun, the, the facon, and the shield. So when you get this, you are going to put uh, your uh, Kangaseros here and uh, in the rec respective track and they are going to improve your stats here, right? And this uh, you are going to use for the combat that I will explain in sequence. But we do have some uh, other things you can get here. Um, this one, uh, you can also, as you see, that's a heart, so you can recover one health, but you can also, uh, this uh, other action that can be done just one per round. So when a player do, does it, we flip like this, and then in the beginning of the round, we return it. Uh, when you do that, you can exchange e the, the events order. Right, so that can also be very useful, maybe if you have an event that will hurt you really bad coming. Um, uh, what else? Yes, we, we do have this uh, resource here, right, which is the Vengeance, and, and this one is kind of a, an agreement, right? So uh, we do have some goals that you can, uh, for example, in the series you can exchange here uh, the the coins here, these two resources I told you, and here the the uh, the volantes you kill uh, for points. But uh, uh, this um, when you use this resource, you pick up this small token here, and you put in your character. You can only have four of each maximum. Right, so um, when you, uh, for example, this one you can spend to move a volante, right? And this one you can spend to get uh, additional points uh, after a combat. I think that it's hard to see. Okay, now good. Let me show the other one. It's kind of two hands shaking. Yeah, so this is what you can get there. When you finish your um, round, uh, when you enter Kachinga, you, you see red here, you kind of get a, a, a wound, right? But when you finish your round here, 
um, you can get, not the third, the round, you can get one of these cards, so you exchange one of your cards with them. They, these ones are cards that have actions that actually hurt the other players, and that's a, a good variety of them in the, in the box, so uh, not only these ones, and they are also stronger for combat. The same happened in the regions of Serra. Right, so you have here the cards, you can also exchange with your card. As you see, uh, we don't uh, uh, return. Uh, when you get a card, you don't put another one. So they are very limited in each game. So, and these ones kind of have some special actions, right? That allows you to do some uh, different things. And also, they also have better stats for combat. And finally, we have these Go cards. When you have these uh, resources here, right? And, and this is important, you did all the upgrades in your character, you can complete one uh, life goal. So then you are going to get one of these cards, you are going to flip it, right? And, um, you are going to get, uh, then you discard the resources here, you are going to get nine points minus uh, the, the amount of wounds you have. So we're going to turn it and uh, then you discard your, uh, the, you discard the resources, you discard your uh, Kangaseiro card, you get two more cards to choose from and then your uh, Cangaceiro go your gang go to back to Juazeiro, right? And finishing these cards, right, will finish the game in the end of the round. Yeah, so let's see how the combat works in the game, right? So um, imagine that, for example, I already have some uh, resources here, right, and I already unblock my upgrades. So I'm going to, for example, move here, right? And uh, uh, with uh, any card, have the combat action, right? And the card I used to trigger the combat action, I'm going to put it here, right? So it's going to complement the stats. So here, for example, I will have one for my upgrade, one as my normal thing, plus two, plus one. So I have five of the, the gun, I have four and I have two, right? So how it works? Uh, in this case, for example, imagine I'm, I'm facing just one. So I'm going to uh, pick up one of these tokens here and I'm going to put it here. So this one is going to have two attacks, two shields and one facon. So, uh, the first thing, I resolve the, the weapon. So, in this case, I have five, he has two shields, so I will put two damage. So, I put it here. Do you see these two arrows means, for example, in this uh, phase of the game, they only have two health, but that increases as the game, uh, they, they get more health and they get stronger here as well. If I was facing two of them, I will pick up, for example, another one and put there. So let's imagine now that it's two. So in this case, they have like uh, three weapons and uh, three shields. So in the case I have, for example, uh, five guns, they have three shields, I will do two damage. Right, will be enough to kill one of them. Then I will resolve their attack. So they have three, I have a four defense, so I'm good, I will not take any damage. Uh, since I, so I, I, you can see here, I, I reach this, uh, the, this part here that has the, the school, and then I do, if I kill all of them with the, the long range attacks, it finishes. When it's not finished, I uh, will resolve the facon part. So in this case, I, I do two damage, and in this case, that's no defense, 
and they do me one damage. So I need to pick up this and put uh, anywhere I want that has uh, this web blood spot. So for example, I will put it here. Okay, and then I, I finish the, the combat. So I discard these tokens, I discard this, and then I get two, these two tokens uh, to me that I can, for example, use it here or for life goals. Uh, depending on the round of the game, for example, in the beginning I get nothing, but as the game progresses, I can get victory points uh, from uh, killing them. Ah, an important thing, when I'm, I'm trigger a combat to try to release uh, the Kangasirus from the prison, right, which can give me another additional points, I also use one of these. There. So that was an overview of the rules from Kangasirus. Of course, there are some small details that I, I might not have explained, but I think with this explanation, you can have a good idea on how the game works. Um, uh, one of the things that really got me in this game is how well it implements its team, right? So all the elements about this, uh, um, this region, about this period are there. So uh, I really like this, the way it represented the, 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 the Brazilian culture from the Northeast in this uh, time. Uh, even using the, the original names in Portuguese. Uh, about the game itself, I really like this mix about uh, this idea on... on uh, it's a little bit of survival, sometimes even more about you having to survive because there are all of these uh, uh, volantes looking for you. And I really la like... Uh, also the management, so there are a lot of things like the cards, the, the card-based action, you kind of have to select them before, so you need to have some planning, but then uh, when when the, the, it progresses, uh, the, the round, you, maybe this planning was not uh, like you, are, you imagined, so you need to adapt, so... All of these things, uh, for me, make this game really fun and, and really great. And another thing, like, for example, we do have combat and everything. And Oh, what if someone dies if you're, you take enough damage for dying? Okay, you are going to lose some points uh, based on your bounty. I don't think it's very punitive. Then you are going to discard and uh, pick up two cards of uh, Kangasir and, and choose one of them. So I also like this, the fact that in a, in, a, in a game you can play with several characters and uh, sometimes it's even uh, um, a strategic choice to maybe risk going to a place, participate in a difficult combat, maybe getting points, getting killed, but then the, the points you got there are uh, let's say, compensate the, the points you lose with it being killed. So sometimes that can be a, 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 an interesting move also to, to do, right? So yeah, so the, the game is very strategic. I, I would not say that's a, um, a light game because it, it does have a lot of rules and I think uh, might uh, please j both the players that like a little bit of adventure and the, the others, like uh, the more Euro gamers that like management and stuff. The game do have some interaction, especially with the Kachinga cards. So be aware of that. That can also be this uh, attention between the players. So that's it. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you like, just keep watching our uh, Trace Do's channel. Bye-bye.